Hey Level Up ladies, it's yours truly Joshi and welcome to the Level Up Podcast where I help aspiring young females level up to the boss they High always dream to be. you from low quality experiences and that's how Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> that man for the streets, okay? <laughs> Either you're gonna boss up or stand down, move forward or stay stuck, no failures, just lessons, the level up does not stop based on how you feel, sweetheart. Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another episode on the Level Up with Joshia podcast with your host, Joshia Murray. This episode is kind of bittersweet because we are now closing in on our season one with the Level Up with Joshia podcast. After five months of consistency, I am so grateful for those of you that stayed with me from March till now. And I am so grateful for those that don't know me, but still gave me the opportunity to be played in your car, on your phone, on your radio, or wherever it is that you are listening to the Level Up podcast. And on this week's episode, I just want everybody to understand this very thing you are great no matter the story yeah that's how we're gonna end we're not gonna end on what it is that you need to do we're gonna end on what it is that you need to know and the season finale does not mean that i'm just dropping this project and never to return i'm giving you time to really take into consideration what we spoke about In the past episodes, I think we've had 21 episodes because this makes 22. And I just want you to know that you are great regardless of the story. Because right now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to give you my story. I'm going to give you my story from start to finish. And I want you to know that there's nothing that you are limited to. There's nothing that you cannot do. Regardless if the world fights you, regardless if the world pushes back, that's what the world was meant to do. The other day I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and I told him this, and this came straight out the Bible. Why are we so afraid of the world when we were created and we serve a God that have already overcome the world? Hmm. A lot of persons sometimes believe that based on the story or based on the person that we was in the past, that we are not allowed to reinvent ourselves. That is so incorrect. That is very incorrect. I used to think that too. I used to think that I was such a mess that I cannot recreate myself. I thought I was the situations that I was in. I thought that I could not overcome anything that came to my life that caused turbulence. My name is Joshia Murray and the Level Up podcast was birthed when I felt my life was crumbling and I had no control over it. I felt like I was lost. When I started the Level Up podcast, I had lost my relationship. And I thought I lost my relationship, but I gained a relationship with myself. I walked away from an abusive relationship Mentally, physically, and emotionally. I lost my job that I felt I gave the world to. I lost a lot of money, what I thought I would have always had. I even lost my sanity. I lost my routine. I gained weight back after working so hard on a journey to lose it. I was blacklisted. Even after now being appointed. Do you see how sometimes the story creates the greatest people? There's nobody in this world that was created that does not have a story. If you do not have a story, then you are just boring. You are boring. What right, right now, whatever it is that you are going through is something that's going to crack that story for greatness. That's, the, that's your book. I became an author when I had 
all the hurt in me and I didn't know how to explain my hurt to anybody. That's how 2023 going on 2020 was created. I didn't know how to speak on what I was feeling. Redemption and restoration is one of the greatest things that you can gain in this life. Don't allow anybody to tell you that your story is so messed up that you cannot become great. I put out a book when I had no idea how to. I put out a book with my life in the pages because I finally realized that I can't be ashamed of my story because everything I have was a product of some shithole story that I had. Wind Down Wednesdays was birth on my pain. Wind Down Wednesdays was birth on mistakes. Don't allow anybody to tell you that your story is so bad that you cannot create anything from it. Broken crayons still color. In that year, I learned patience. I lost friendships. I lost my job. I lost money. And the test that I had to stand was tests that I wish I could have stand when I had everything. I got tested when I had nothing. I got tested with love when I felt I shouldn't love anybody. That's when I got tested with love the most. Love came to me when I did not want to love. I had to help people when I had little I had to have confidence in myself when I had none. I had to start from scratch without a job. I had to hold my peace and forgive when people were deliberately stabbing me in my back. I had to get back in the gym after I lost the drive to continue. I'm not going to sit there and allow the world to tell you that this journey is easy. But regardless of your story, you are always great. I wrote a book when I was at my cloudiest moment in life. I was so determined to fix my mess that I sat down last year and I read over 50 plus books to figure out life. What I tell you on this platform is not make-believe. This is real life. And I withstand most of my tests when I felt I didn't have the tools. That's what I thought. And then I realized the tools that I had was my story and my life. I had a sick parent. And a mother that had lost everything in a hurricane... And I had no job. And I still, God put me through a test that he showed me. I can make something out of nothing. I asked God to make me the increase of. And I had to learn abundance and scarcity. I had to learn love when I hated it. And I had to learn forgiveness when I didn't want to. I had to start over when I felt the most lost. I had to let things go after pulling on them so long. That's my story. And if you look at me today, by the grace of God, He gave me everything back, plus more. That's why I said don't never allow anybody to tell you your story 
is going to stop you from being who you're supposed to be. Don't allow anybody to tell you that. Because a year ago, my world was crashing down. And a year later, I fought back. And I told myself that if I have God, I can overcome everything. Now, both of my parents have abundance. My mom got a job and made more. My father got promoted and made more. I lost my job and I gained it back. I lost a promotion and I got it back. I lost my sanity and I got it back. I got out of shape, but I got it back. I didn't know forgiveness, but I got it in me. I didn't know peace, but I got it now. I wasn't grateful then, but I am grateful now. I wasn't an author then, I'm an author now. I wasn't a talk show host then, I'm a talk show host now. I wasn't a podcaster, I'm a podcaster now. I didn't have a voice then, but I have a voice now. And that is why in the midst of everything, don't never let nobody tell you that your story is too messed up to become great. That's how we end this podcast. And this podcast ended in a way that God allowed me to go through different levels. Different devils for you to have season finale, episode 22. And episode 23 on season 2 is going to be great and better. See, everything what is coming out of this is going to be greater and better. Everything. Everything is going to be greater and better. I got to take a break because we're coming back greater and better. The second book, greater and better. Everything is going to be greater and better. That's how the greatest stories are created. And I will leave you on today's episode with this. He that has begun a good work in me shall continue to do it until the day of Jesus Christ. That is a promise. That is the word of God. Don't allow your story to stop you from being great. Thank you for tuning in to season one on the Level Up with Joshia podcast. And remember, you can still follow me on social media, Jojo underscore the great underscore. You can still follow me to keep up with what's going on. I'm still going to be giving you content here and there, not on these platforms, but other platforms. I'm still going to do that. But I just, I'm grateful. I want to thank you. Today, when I looked at the statistics for the episode, I can't believe that we made, like, we were at 700 plus listeners in five months. No promotion, no ad, nothing. We we made it there. 700 players in five months months five that means on an average we had 140 plus players every single month with no big promotion we reached 17 countries the last country to play this podcast was in dubai we are being heard in places that we have never even seen yet That's why I can't wait for season two and to see what God has in store. Because I got to go in my corner with him and I have to ask him how to direct me on what it is I need to say on the podcast moving forward. What it is that he wants me to do. So that's why I want to say thank you. We had a good run in season one. So let's finish the race in season two. See you all later. Bye. Don't forget to catch the reruns of the of the Wind Down Wednesdays platform. It's on my YouTube channel and it's the link in my bio on my Instagram if you want to catch up with those episodes. 
So see you later. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to season one on the Level Up with Joshia podcast.